Hello and welcome back to another Boodle Woodle tutorial. This time uh, we're going to be looking at uh, bringing up the dusty stuff. Now uh, when you start doing your astrophotography and your processing, there's a great deal to learn. Many, many tips out there and many, many ways of doing things. But these are just my little ways of going about processing my images. And um, I'm not a particularly technical person, but um, I've got a little notebook full of ideas and things, and I just like to share these ideas with you. And if you find them useful in doing your astrophotography and processing, then all the better. So, what I want to look at today is the Trifford Nebula again, following on from my last tutorial on the bringing up the brightness of stars and reducing stars. And um, I want to show you a little method here which helps to bring up. Uh, the dust that you get in your images, you know, the faint nebulosity that you get back there that you'd like to bring back up. So we have here our image of the Trifford Nebula, and um, in true Blue Peter style, I have one prepared earlier. So I'm now going to click on this background copy of it so you can see the effect. So if you look at the Trifford Nebula there, when I click this, all that lovely dust and nebulosity comes into view. Um, I'll click it off again. And on again so that you can see the effect. And the next layer that I've got up here um, was using a method by, it's called the block method, um, and that's uh, by Adam Block. And um, it's also a very, very quick and easy, useful way. So thank you, Adam, for that. Um, so let's first of all look at this first one here, whereby we bring up the dust and the nebulosity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two layers. I'm just going to press uh, the shift key and click both and then right click and press um, delete the layers. So they're gone, putting us right back to where we were when we first started off. So how do we go about getting this uh, Bringing back, bringing out the dusty stuff. Well, first of all, take your image after you've done your course of done uh, reducing stars and the other processing things that you'll do. But to bring up the dustiness in here and the nebulosity, this is what we do. First of all, we're going to drag our background copy down and duplicate it. And then we're going to click on the background copy, the first one again. And what we want to do now is we press Control A, that will select the image. Control C, that will copy it to the clipboard. Then we move back up to our background copy and click on it. And then you want to move your cursor down here to the little, uh, what looks like a little square with a white circle in it, which is going to add a layer mask for us. So we're just going to click that. And you'll see it adds a white reveal all layer mask. Now what I want to do is I'm going to press the Alt key and click in that layer mask. And that just brings up the lovely white layer mask for you. Now don't forget we copied the background to our clipboard. So what we're going to do now is paste that into here. So we just press Control V and that will paste that in there for us. And then we press Control I, which will invert it. Okay, um, now, now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to click on our first uh, layer thumbnail, which is there, to bring us back to that. Good. Now, let me just consult my notes a little bit here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this second one, the white one, and we're going to disable layer mask, and it will be a big cross on it like that. Then we select the first one again, and then we're going to apply dust and scratches to it. So we go up to filter, noise, 
and dust and scratches and we click on that. I've got it set at 17 but the purpose of setting the radius slider is to get rid of the stars and just leave you with the dustiness and the nebulosity. So we'll click OK for that. Good, good. Let's let that finish what it's doing. OK, and then what we need to do is change its blending mode to screen. So we go to the blending mode here, and then we go on up and we press screen. And you'll notice if I click that on and off, that what that does is it brings up all the, the dust and the, the nebula, it brings it up a lot more than it was before. So it's bringing up the dusty stuff. Click that off and bring it back on again so you can see. Okay, so that's good. Now we want to enable the mask we crossed off, so we click on that, and that should enable it. Good. And now we want to adjust the contrast of the dust that we brought up with a levels adjustment layer so by click click on the white one so we've got that one active and then if you come down here to the little circle with the black and white on it which will give us an adjustment layer so we'll click on that and then we'll click levels and then all i'm going to do is move the black slider in the levels adjustment down a little bit sort of about mm. I don't want it to be too bright, but we can bring it back uh, sort of about there, I think would be okay. Now this method is great for bringing up dusty stuff. Um, perhaps this one is not a terribly good example in the fact that there's not enough dust in there to really show it off. Um, I've got another image of the Pleiades, which would probably be a bit better, but I just wanted to quickly show you how to do this. You can apply it when you've got a nebula with lots of dust and nebulosity and you want to bring that all out, this is a great way of doing it. So now that we've done that, we want to merge this down. So we're going to click on the first layer by right clicking on it and merge down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the background copy here and I'm going to duplicate that again. Oh, I put it in the rubbish bin. Never mind. Control Alt Z. Phew. Thank goodness for Control Alt Z. So I'm going to click on the background again and not put it in the rubbish bin, put it in the little icon next to it, which will duplicate me a background copy. Nice to keep a copy in case you mess up. And then select the top layer there, right click and merge down. So when I click the eye icon on the background copy, you can see. The effect, you get some nice nebulosity and the dust shows up really good. So that's how you do that. And then the next thing I wanted to show you was how to add uh, saturation to it, but without creating any more noise. This is what's known as the Adam Block method, or the Block method. And it's really quick and easy to do, but it's really good. So what we do is we go here, we've got our background copy. This one the background we'll just keep. So we're going to duplicate the background copy um, two more times. So we've already got the one copy. Drag it down, grab hold it again, and drag it down. So we now have one, two, three background copies. And what we're going to do on the first one at the top, we're going to click on that, and then we're going to change its uh, mode to um, soft light okay and then we're going to click on the next one and we're going to change its mode to luminosity now let me just double check make sure that I've got that right 
Oh, no, no, I've got them the wrong way around. Let's go back to the top. So the first one is luminosity. And the second one is soft light. Okay, so the first one's luminosity, second one's soft light, and the other one is just a background color. Then what we want to do is press your shift key, select the first one, then press your shift key, and then pre pre <laughs> press the third one. Okay, and then we're going to merge all these together. So right click and merge layers. Okay, and then what that does is that increases the saturation in the nebula. So to recap what we did is we had a picture of the trooper. We wanted to bring out the nebulosity in the dust. So we used this method, which I simply call bringing out the dusty stuff. And once we've done that, we then use the block method, the atom block method, to increase saturation. And like anything you do in layers, if you don't like it, if it's too much, then you can always just go up to opacity and just bring the saturation down a little bit more. Okay, so that's basically those two methods and how they go about. Like I said, if you've got a, if you've got um, another image, something like the Pleiades, which has lots and lots of dust lanes and lots of dustiness in it and nebulosity, if you use a picture like that, you'll probably uh, have a better idea of what I'm doing here. But this is I'm still working on this image, so I thought that might be helpful to just show you that. Okay, so that's that method done. Um, next tutorial I'll be doing, uh, what should we do for you? I think we'll look at, um, we'll look at something like, hmm, boosting color maybe, or I don't know, what would you guys like to see if you've, uh, if you've got something that you want to know about and uh, I've got a method of doing it. Uh, let me know, let me know and I'll post it up for you and see how we go. But until then, until the next tutorial, wishing you clear skies and hope you enjoy your astrophotography.